Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Ben Knight from Laudit District Library. Thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. So tell me a little bit about uh, what you do at the library. So I'm an adult services librarian, and I've been I've been taken in to basically do sort of e-materials and e-books and basically helping with technology mm -hmm. at Laudit District Library. So tell me a little bit about um, what the E stands for and how it differs from a regular book. So E is electronic, so it means it's basically always available, it's digital, you can get it through a lot of different services, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be at the library to do it. Great, so you don't have to go in and check out books, it's just you know from your house, from the beach, Absolutely. wherever you want to be on vacation. Yeah. And what do you need to be able to do that? So big thing is going to be like a smartphone or a computer or a tablet, something that can get online. Okay, but, and, but having um, your library card, that's what... Yep, you're you always going to want that library card to start. Okay. So get that library sure. card, and then once you've got that all set up, you're going to want to download whatever app you need to basically get the stuff, link your account with your library card, and get it going. All right, and what type of... Is there a wide variety of books that you can get? Yeah, I mean, you can get everything from your big, like James Patterson, to your more obscure stuff. We've got audio books, we've got streaming mm. stuff. So we've really got a lot on these platforms. Great. And then how long do you get to keep it before you have to turn it in or it, it goes depends. away? It really depends. So like most things are going to be a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, comic books are about a week. Movies can be like two days. It really depends on the and Does it automatically just go off your device? or? So you don't even have to worry about. You don't have to worry about fines <laughs> at all. Yeah, getting back in your car and mm -hmm. delivering it back. Gone are those days. Yes. So besides books, what else do you have that people can stream or watch? So um, we've got the e-books, we've got e-audio books. So those are things you can listen to. Um, we have them that you can download, or we can have them that you can stream. We've got movies, we've got TV shows, we've got music. There's a lot of really cool things. Yeah. Sure. So we have a new database called Linda. It's really really popular, and it's basically webinars that you can get online and learn how to do stuff. Sure. And I used to have to subscribe to that, so it used to cost money to subscribe, but now you guys are going to have it at the library. Yeah, so we're going to offer it at the library. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can do everything from coding to how to whittle. It's, there's so Just much on how to Linda. videos, and, and don't they have like professionals that videotape these? These are really vetted, so yeah, you really so know instead the of going resources. to YouTube and getting some, does this guy really know what he's doing? To you know, now you can check out Linda and there's professionals that are yeah. teaching you. Yeah, that's important to know how to do something the right way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Um, so some of this, do you have to be tech savvy or how does that work? Yeah, you probably need some technical skill. You got to know how to download apps. You got to know how to basically get online and do stuff. Is there any type of support from the library for that? Yeah, so we're doing lots of classroom style things for like Microsoft Office mm -hmm. products. But then we're also doing like one on ones. We have like two hour slots every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, wow. where you can sign up, come in and sit with somebody and just kind of ask questions, bring in your device. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do everything from like smartphones, I don't understand Facebook. <laughs> Um, Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of going to the Apple store, you can mm -hmm. just go to Lauda Library? Yeah. yeah. Great. What are the hours then of that again? Tuesdays and so Thursdays? So Tuesdays and Thursdays. So on Tuesdays, we have a two to three block and then a three to four block. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursdays, we have a 11 to 12 and then a 12 to one. Okay. So you kind of need to sign up for yeah. that for this We do about a month in advance. Wow. Okay. Very good. Or they could ask their grandson or yeah. a teenager yeah. and they could get that score. Yeah, absolutely. Away yeah. Perfect. Uh, what are some other things that the library offers? So we are actually talking about rolling out a new space down in the basement. So where our public computing is now, we want to move that upstairs mm -hmm. so it's easier for people to get to. And we kind of want to do a creative lab down in the basement. So green screen, uh, ways to digitize slides, way to scan your old photographs mm -hmm. that you don't want to lose. And we're not 100% sure what we're going to be able to get down there, but we really want it to be sort of a creative space for people. Wow. And everybody has those slides or pictures, and they want to, you know, get them digital to keep yes, them safe. Yes, so absolutely. That's a great idea. Okay. Was well, there anything else that you want to add that we didn't talk about? Um, well, Canopy, I should probably mention Canopy. Mm -hmm. So that's a new service we offered starting last year, and it's been super, super popular. Okay. Um, it's a lot of independent films and documentaries that mm -hmm. are hard to find, and we've been actually doing like a Canopy movie screening on Thursday nights, mm. and it varies. It's usually the second or third Thursday, but we've been uh, having a lot of great turnout, and there's a small discussion afterwards. 
All right, and that's at the library. That's itself. at the library itself. So okay, yeah, is get that out. downstairs and downstairs. kind of the conference room? Yeah, we have like an Apple TV system, mm -hmm. and we basically put it up on the projector for you. Usually, you have some snacks, and it's usually indie films or like foreign films that are hard to get. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much yeah, for being on the show. It's great to hear that. You know, you don't. It's great to go into the library because there's so much there. But you know, if you're on vacation or at the beach or just wherever, you can just quickly download those. Yeah, absolutely. So instead of you know, going to Amazon and buying a book, you know, how many, how often are you going to We're read We're buying it? it for you. We're buying it for We're you. We're buying it for you. Yeah. yeah. And there's no cost associated with that because that's all from our taxes. Yeah, absolutely. It's all taxpayer. We're all in our budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's... Great. Well, thank you very of much course. for uh, kind of enlightening the viewers about different options they have at the library. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-City since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.